Today I am doing a collaboration soap that my friend Sue uh, here on YouTube, her channel is Ren Pit Bath and Beauty. We found out from visiting with each other that we are both movie enthusiasts and we decided that we want to do a collab together. And since this soap is going to be made around October, which October is known for Halloween and Halloween is known for scariness or horror, we decided to make a soap inspired by our favorite horror movie. The requirements for this collaboration is it has to have a fall-like fragrance, it has to have the color red in it somewhere, and it has to be based on a horror movie. My favorite horror movie, I'm pretty sure, is Sweeney Todd with Johnny Depp playing Sweeney Todd. I think that movie is perfect. It's got amazing music. It's got amazing acting. It's got amazing effects. I think it's the best Tim Burton movie ever made, which many people may disagree with me on that, and that's fine, I don't care. Let's get started on our Sweeney Todd inspired soap. In this little jar, we've got some white kale and clay. We've got goat milk sodium lactate, powdered sugar, our fragrance, which is apple harvest. The notes for apple harvest are top notes of orange peel, cinnamon, and nutmeg, middle notes of apple, and base notes of clove and vanilla. In general, horror movies are not my cup of tea, but there are certain ones that they just, it's really hard to explain. It's like, I don't like them because they're horror movies, but there's certain horror movies that are just so good. Like the story and the dialogue and the presentation of it all. Like, I really am not into gore, which is kind of funny since Sweeney Todd is actually a very gory movie. Though the blood in the movie is pretty fake, but it's kind of over the top. I would recommend the movie. If you can look past the gore of the movie, it's really, really fantastic. <laughs> it's actually a musical, and musicals are another form of uh, entertainment that I've never really been into, but this one, it's just so good. <laughs> it's a revenge movie. Here's our lye water with a pinch of Tessa Silk fibers in it. And I had no idea that Johnny Depp could even sing. And he's got a very nice voice. It's got a wonderful cast of actors. Alan Rickman is the bad guy. And Alan Rickman is a very, was a very gifted actor. God rest his soul. Now, as usual, I know what I'm going for with my design, but I haven't sat down and tried to figure out how I'm gonna go about it. I don't want this to move very fast because I need time to think. The music in Sweeney Todd. I like every song they sing in that movie. It's all beautiful. It's also very cool. The dialogue's very good. The lyrics for the songs are very good. I think the story is, the story is quite tragic. Here we got Cherry Red. This is supposed to be I'm wanting this to be kind of the color of, you know, blood, which I think that's pretty close. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. All right, so we got that. Over here, I'm going to leave this white. Over here, this is going to be black with activated charcoal. We'll see what one teaspoon does, see if I want more than that. I think we'll add one more teaspoon. The uh, fragrance does make me think of fall. It is a cinnamony apple smell. It's a good one. I'm happy with it. I really gotta know. Have any of you seen Sweeney Todd? And if that's no, and if you are okay with, with horror movies, please watch it. Especially if you're a Johnny Depp fan. Watch that movie. 
It's so good. So now we're going to talk about my inspiration of my color choices here. I've got the black here and I've got the white. This is for Sweeney Todd's hair because he has black hair with a white streak. I think I think I want to pour the white into here. I'm not really looking to swirl this, so I think I'm just going to leave it just like that and then pour it. Yeah, at least wipe it off the sides though. Here. Here we go. And I am going to pour all of it. Oh no, it's not going in as deep as I want it to. What a mess I just made. Bloody mess. Alright. Hopefully that sunk in a little bit for what I was going for. I wasn't I wasn't looking for anything wispy. I was literally looking for chunks, but I kinda wanted it to go a little deeper than that. But we'll see how it turns out in the end. I mean our drop in there. I'm wondering if it's good enough where I should like do a we'll see what this is going to do just that just that down the middle now shall I leave it kind of messy like this I'm thinking about it because of what the movie is so I'm kind of going for that bloody mess I think we're gonna leave it I don't think I'm gonna fancy it up with any swirls alrighty see you when it's ready to cut. Well, hello. Today is tomorrow. This is unmolding so well. Whoa, it just wanted to fall. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, cut off our edge here. Whoa, I wonder if the whole thing's gonna look like that because that is awesome. I guess we'll see, won't we? It's a very Tim Burton looking bar, actually. <laughs> it's very eerie looking. Mmm. Nice. I'm glad I ran that stick through it real quick before I stopped working on my soap. It added a nice little something. Look at that! That's so awesome. I don't think I could be more pleased with how these turned out. Looks even better than what I had planned. I'm so happy. These sides look awesome. Whoa. It's a nice deep red. It's perfect. The bars are perfect. I can't believe a design actually turned out for me. Very happy with 
these bars. What? Check that out. That is so cool looking. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how awesome these look. Nice. Very cool. So cool, I love it. I will have the link to Sue's YouTube channel and Sue's video that goes along with our collaboration. I'll have those links in the description for you to go see her and see what she came up with. Look at that! I'm so shocked at how good these look. I didn't put near as much work into this bar as I have other bars, but I think this one is my... I'm just really happy with it. With how it turned out. I'm really happy with how it turned out. That's cool. That design. Oh, it's so cool. I love these. We're going to do a side stamp today. Thank you for watching my horror movie themed collaboration with Ren Pet Bath and Beauty. I hope you got some enjoyment out of the video. Maybe learned about a movie that you could possibly enjoy. I am extremely happy with how these soaps turned out. Enjoy your month of October. See you soon. Which man devouring man or dear? And who are we to deny?